So I'm, I'm using two canvases simply because um, it actually is kind of a quick project like it's kind of a quick process um, i'm going to be starting um, one picture at a time however if you guys want your picture to to match a little bit more than than mine is um, you could perhaps put them side by side close together as you're painting it um, that way you you get uh, paint brush strokes that match each other you could even go right across like this if you really wanted to um, that's all a choice. It's completely up to you if you want to do that. Um, but, you know, just because I don't have a lot of room personally, I'm probably going to separate them, you know, little by little. And me, I don't really like uh, things that are completely matching. I like things to be a little bit off, a little bit askew, asymmetrical, if you want to call it, because I don't know, I've always just enjoyed that. So that's just me. Um, so we'll need those canvases. However, if you want to use a larger canvas, you can absolutely do that. If you want to just use one canvas or five canvases, please feel free to do that. All right. Um, like I said, it's a pretty, um, at least I think it's a pretty quick process myself. Um, so as for what we need, um, we will use, of course, our paint brushes. If you'll give me just a second, I want to spotlight my camera so everybody can see that. There you go. Okay, so of course we're going to need paint brushes. Now the paint brushes you use um, depend entirely on you. So I have a classic flat brush. So this is what we're going to use to um, paint uh, these sideways brush strokes right here. And you can't really see them too much, but they're pretty smooth. So smoother textures with this kind of paintbrush. This is a three quarters of an inch size brush. You can see it right there. Um, but honestly, whatever you have and whatever you feel comfortable with, please use that. Um, I also have a much more textured brush right here. So it's very bristly. It's not, not nearly as soft as that flat brush. And it's gonna give me some nice texture. Um, again, it all just depends on what you have and what you can use. If you want some finer um, brush strokes, then feel free to bring out um, perhaps some more pointy ones. You probably don't need one as small as this one. I know I have one of my larger pointy brushes around here somewhere, but you guys know the, know the drill. I'm always losing these things. <laughs> if you don't have a, um, a pointy brush at your disposal, actually you can use the thinner side. So the thinner side of your flat brush can be used to create some thinner brush strokes. So just keep that in mind in case you can't find a round brush. Um, and I would say the only part of this that you're probably going to really want um, is going to be our palette knives. So the palette knives here, this is what gives you that lovely texture that you see. And the palette knives, I'm going to actually add this texture later um, because I want this, at least for me, I want this texture to sit on the top of my canvas. And that's why I save it for last. Um, however, if you want to perhaps put on a little bit of texture and then wait for it to dry and then put on a little bit more later, you can do that too. Um, am I missing anything? Of course you want water and of course you want some napkins. Um, I always like to have plenty of napkins around me because I'm very messy, so go figure. Um, other than that, um, just choose the colors of your choices, uh, the colors that you want to use, and then also a palette. So whatever palette you have at your disposal, whether that be an actual palette or um, a paper plate, like what I have. In fact, I'm pretty sure this is like from Thanksgiving. <laughs> I just stole one of the Thanksgiving um, uh, plates and I've been using it ever since. <laughs> it's a good way to recycle. You know, I thought about bringing out uh, several tiny canvases because I have like four of these little ones. That's an option too. If you have like little canvases, you can always put them together. 
or like maybe put them across like this if I really wanted to do that. That might be kind of cool for another project. Just some ideas. I forgot to say hello to Marianne and Anna Marie and Lisa. Good to see y'all. Um, let's see, I'm actually going to set this aside. Of course, I'm dropping everything here. And I'm going to just kind of um, pour out my paints just for now. Oh, Karen. Hi, Karen. Elaine and Stephanie, good to see y'all here. Okay, so um, if you want to know the colors that I used for uh, my canvas, just ask me. I'll be happy to tell you. Um, it's very easy. I actually also have gold too. So I'm going to use gold. Um, should I use gold now? That might be kind of cool. Should I like go off the rails right from the get go? <laughs> Just use gold right from the get go? I definitely could. Did you explain? Um, I think I, I got in just a minute late. Did you explain why the two canvases? Oh, um, I didn't explain that part. So I had, uh, I sort of had Valentine's Day in mind, but I didn't really want to like point towards Valentine's Day just in case, you know, nobody wanted to actually celebrate Valentine's Day. Um, so I was thinking, you know, why don't we put two canvases together? Um, in the art world, the art sphere, we actually call that a diptych. So you put two canvases together and they're supposed to go together as one set. So I just thought, okay, that's kind of, you know, kind of romantic symbolically a little bit. Um, but if you wanted to do just a single canvas, that's totally fine too. So that's the idea oh, behind this one. Okay. Yeah, it's very simple, I know. <laughs> now I'm just pouring out some random colors, but I think I might want to become a little bit more intentional with my colors today. Hmm, mine, let me just bring out one of them. Mine have a um, very simple palette of fuchsia, yellow, and blue. So in some areas they create orange and in some areas they create um, like a green back here. What we'll be doing is we'll be putting in um, one color at a time. So we'll start with one color first and then move on to another color. And then um, not really layer them, but sort of like alternate colors. And as far as where you place them, there's really no particular like idea behind where you put your colors. It's completely up to you. You can be a little bit more intentional than, than what I am. I just put the, the colors wherever I felt like it in that moment. But if you wanted to um, perhaps do your dark colors on the bottom and then your lighter colors at the top, you could do that that way. Um, if you also want to pre-mix your own, um, your own more complicated colors, you can do so now. I don't think that I really get a chance to um, use my, my nice, uh, what is it, my nice collection of, of uh, paints. I wouldn't say they're nice, but, you know, they, they definitely cost more than a dollar, that's for sure. Um, so I figured I would mix up a few colors here. That way you guys can just kind of see the mixing process. And just so you know, I am going to use my flat brush first, simply because I want to start to put those bands of color first with this, uh, with this one. The idea is to get those bands of color um, or rather get in those smoother colors in first before you put the texture on top. That way you have some sort of color um, as, your, as your base color. 
sure hope all that makes sense. Does it make, does it matter if it's lighter or darker? No, not really. Um, as you can see here, this is a really a pretty dark blue. And I wait, I waited for it to dry a bit before I put on the, um, the other two colors on top before I put on the white and the gold. So definitely does not matter. Um, I would say that it might be handy to have a blow dryer nearby or perhaps something you can fan your work with um, just in case you want to speed up the drying process. And as far as how many colors to choose from, I would say anything greater than three colors. I think that'll make a nice mix of colors. So for me, I have one, two, three, four, five here, and I'm probably going to mix a little bit of purple because I love purple. We'll see. See how it goes. I may even mix a little bit of lavender, actually. Yeah, I think lavender. So for me, I'm sticking with the more, um, I don't know, twilight slash galaxy color palette. And I'm going to add some gold on top of that. So I just want to show you how I mix a little bit of teal, just in case you're wondering. One of my favorite colors to use in any painting is teal. And so I'm mixing a color called phthalo green, mixing it with a lot of white. Now, again, that's just me. That's just the colors that I choose to use. I just love using it. Phthalo green and white, that's the name of the game. Okay, so now I have that color at the ready. Kind of, I need to make a little bit more. And I don't know if you guys knew this. I know some of you have, I've talked to, I've talked about it before in other classes, but if you wanted to make um, a little bit more of a, a neutral color, um, you can always mix in just a little bit of brown paint with whatever bright color you have. And that's gonna tone it down. It's gonna neutralize it a little bit. So it's not so out there. For me, I have this kind of kind of brownish gray color right here. It's already pre-mixed in the bottle. It's a brownish gray, and I'm just going to go ahead and mix it in with my, my teal. It neutralizes it just slightly. So go ahead and get all your colors ready now. You guys may not have nearly as much mixing as I do. Any questions? And I'll probably mix another color later, like that lavender color I mentioned. I'll probably mix that in a little bit. Okay. So as far as the process is concerned, like I mentioned, I want to put down those blocks of color. And I think if I turn my canvas to the side, you can see it a little, you can see, kind of see what I'm talking about a little bit more clearly, where I put my little, um, my little stripes, my little striations of color. I put those down first along the canvas. And then much, much later, one of the last things that we do on the canvas is to put um, that texture. So one of the last things is to use the palette knife. That's much later. For now, I'm going to use this lovely brush right here to paint my canvas. Um, now, I'm not going to paint the whole thing. I'm going to paint my bands. So I'm going to go one at a time. Um, which one you use, it does not matter. Like I said, if you have your own order of operations you want to do, then by all means do that. Um, because I can't, I'm just going to start with this one. 
this dark blue. And for me, I feel like these colors in particular are very, very um, thick. So I'm going to just kind of dip my brush in the water once. That way I can soften it up and kind of um, drag it along a little bit further than I would than I would normally. But that's just me. Your paints may not have that same effect, but um, no matter what, adding water is going to help to soften it up so you can you can stretch it further. I got a little bit of paint up there, but I'm not going to worry about that. As you paint along, um, go ahead and get the sides and the bottom just as they as they come along. So I can see the bottom here. I'm just going to paint the side to go along with it. It's going to look a little messy at first, but we don't really want to leave them blank. And they're probably going to look a little uneven at first. You can definitely see how uneven that is, the side compared to the uh, the top there. But that's okay, we're gonna, it will write itself later. Now, because I want them to be similar, so I want my two canvases to be similar, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get some more of this blue. I'm gonna stretch it along the same area on the bottom of the other canvas. Now I did mention that for me, I don't really like for things to be completely symmetrical. And that will be evident in my lack of care. Like I'm not really gonna line them up perfectly. I'm just gonna, gonna go for it. Now, if you are the kind of person though, who does want it to line up as best as you, as, as you can possibly get it, then you might be able to get away with putting a piece of tape perhaps on the, on the tops or on the corners here. That way you can, you can always line them up. You can always have a way to register it, so to speak. Or you can go a little bit slowly probably more slowly than I'm gonna go. So that's that's really it. Um, I would say go one color at a time um, along your canvas and make these bands of color. For me, I'll probably lighten up this blue a little bit and maybe put a lighter blue band somewhere in the middle. Oops. I have paint everywhere now. Any questions? No? All right. How's y'all's week been going? We're concentrating. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know, the crickets. <laughs> Too much talking. Oh, that's right. I mentioned lightening it up. I'm actually going to lighten it up with this uh, brownish gray over here. Hey, this is Katie. Um, I was just going to say I had my first full ochre mist treatment on Friday. So that was exciting, oh. I guess. Yep. So, wow. Yep. Oh my God. How are you? I am doing really well. I didn't know if I was going to have like, I didn't really have any side effects from the first two halves. Um, oh. But so I was really excited. I didn't have any side effects. And I actually yeah. thought that I was not going to be up for, um, there's like a Girl Scout thing we went to on um, Saturday, I guess. And mm -hmm. um, I had originally recruited uh, my mom to take uh, Amelia here. Um, but I ended up feeling really good and feeling really just happy and, and thankful. So. Wow. So, yeah. Well, congrats. That's seriously Thank amazing. Thank you. And um, also, I, um, I think I maybe mentioned this before, I'm getting ready for the, um, there's a bike MS event I'm doing and the like citrus ride next month, I think. 
Uh and um so I just have myself and two friends are doing it and this was like fundraising week I guess and we so we have just like a small team but we won the um like most money raised I guess by a small team for for that week so that was that was fun that was exciting um yeah it was kind of an exciting week for me (laughs) that's so that all happened last week yeah like the um the the yeah the Oak Rivas was Friday and then I found out today actually about the fundraising thing oh man congratulations thank you that's a good weekend if yeah. you ask me yes 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 thank oh you. my gosh that's fun. that's amazing um I know normally for me after my infusions I normally get like I don't know like jittery like antsy from yeah I'm, I'm, I'm guessing from the steroids I don't really know yeah. probably but, sounds like yeah probably from the prednisone yeah probably but it otherwise, gives like perky, it gives you that perky, you know, that perky <laughs> prednisone. Oh, <laughs> you know, I just wish you would let me sleep. That's the only thing. Just let me sleep. I just mostly more than anything, I was just so hot. I felt like I was just like uh, yeah. a million degrees. And so like I came home and I just like kind of actually I like just collapsed because I cannot, mm. I can, I don't know. I'm just not, I cannot sleep in like random places really. Um, oh yeah. So I never oh sleep God. during the, yeah, I never sleep during the infusions, but, um, or at least I, for the two halves and first full one so far, but, um, I like came home and I was just so hot and I finally just like pulled off and like crashed out. And then oh. I like could not sleep at all that night, but, um, <laughs> at least we, <laughs> at least uh, I got uh, a nap in and now I feel like we're finally back to like kind of normal schedule. Nice. Oh, well, that's good though. You know, at least at least you're you're getting there even even if it did take you a few days that's that's pretty good yeah yes definitely seriously i'm really happy i have a lot of red on me you got a lot of red (laughs) (laughs) nice i'm trying to make my purple now but instead of white i'm using that grayish brown i don't think i'm gonna use that white at least not much of it Yeah, I um I always crash in the infusion center. I love it. I um I love that I can just sleep through everything. And it's all thanks to the Benadryl. Better living through chemistry. <laughs> I do get excited though for Ocrevus Day because I get to sleep. Sleep is so hard to come by. Oh, yes. And I wanted to show you um, about the brush. You can always make those smaller bands by, um, I know I mentioned using the thin part of the brush. So I'm going to slide it across like so. I don't know how well you guys can see that. That's going to give me that thinner brush stroke. Now, of course, if you have um, an actual like a smaller round brush, then you can always use that too. I'm gonna, just to kind of show you that. There we go. This looks more like a periwinkle blue. Now I could spend some time trying to um, fix up these lines so that they're a little bit straighter. Um, however, I already know that whenever I go over it with the palette knife, the palette knife is just going to eliminate all straight lines. So just keep that in mind. What you try to do now may not happen later, but that's all part of the process. Let's see, I'm probably, I'll probably do some of my, um, my teal. I'm using that technique again, where I use the, the thin edge of my brush to create a thinner line. I'll probably clean up this edge right here with something else. 
I don't know what else. And honestly, the only reason I'm putting this color at the top is because I don't want to waste this lovely color that's already in my brush. I'm just thinking out loud. This is another one of those um, kinds of projects that's really nice if you have uh, some music on in the background. I was going to say podcast, but actually I would recommend doing this when you're, when you're really in the zone and you can really um, relax using some sort of art form. For me, anytime I do something like this or really most of my uh, project making actually, um, I always have to kick the cats out. So if I don't, they're just gonna, they destroy everything just to get my attention. Okay. There we go. I always like to use the brush to um, scrape off that excess paint just in case it's a little too much um, for the water. That way you can save some of your water. Is that um, white? Did you paint that or that's just a white canvas? Uh, oh, it's just a white canvas. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking part of me wants to actually put like a huge, um, a huge band of gold somewhere around here because why not? And then put some white paint or some other matte color on top of it just to see what it would look like. All right, so now I get to put my turquoise here, whoops. Cover up some of my lavender. So I'll probably just go back and put some back. Are there any good Netflix shows I should be aware of? Documentaries maybe? We've been watching a show called Poker Face lately. It's on um, Peacock. Oh God, it's on Peacock, the NBC streaming. Um, but it's um, Natasha Leone, who's the redhead. Um, she was like an orange is the new black. Um, it's very funny. Oh, the premise, her. yeah, the premise is basically that she's um, she's basically on the run, but it's sort of like a story of the week um, kind of. So like there's a new new case every week and basically she's solving murders and the whole the whole um premise i guess is that she can tell if people are lying like she knows if people are telling the truth so okay. she, she uses that skill to like observe things and figure out if people are lying basically and like why they're lying the trick is like why they're lying but um anyways it's a comedy it's very entertaining Okay, you know, I was wondering what what she was up to lately. Um, I saw her in Russian Doll. Yeah, and it was yeah. so good, such a good show. Okay, I'm gonna check that out because I really like her. Hi. 
it's occasionally like I mean it's about murders so like there's like a little bit of violence but it's nothing like okay. I mean it's still an, you know it's still an NBC show so it's not like it's not like Breaking Bad no. or anything like that <laughs> okay that's good to know <laughs> yeah yeah I mean, I like, I like some Breaking Bad, but <laughs> yeah, no, it's not, it's like just, you know, it's not, I don't want anyone to like watch it and be like, oh my uh-huh. gosh, there's, why are there like, you know, dead bodies? I mean, that is the premise. <laughs> like, what did, what did she recommend? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Okay. All right. I have to look into that. I feel like somebody else has recommended that to me too before. Yeah. I think it's only been out for like a month. Maybe it's pretty new. Okay, cool. And it airs it airs on Thursdays. So you can't you have to actually like I mean you can't like watch a whole season right now. <laughs> like you can only watch like four or five episodes so far. That, that makes me so sad when I can't just watch at least two episodes. Yeah. keep thinking i need to watch um well it's more like i keep forgetting to watch um what is it it's a spin-off series of the witcher i love i love the witcher series um what is it called i think it might be called bloodlines but i keep like i just keep forgetting about it that's all Now I know I'm putting in the thinner bands of color right now, but I actually would recommend you put the 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 wider bands of color, no matter what color they actually are. Put in the wider bands first. Otherwise, things will be just a little bit easier for you. But I mean, do as I say, not as I do, right? I'm going to make, I'll probably do another band in here somewhere. There we go. It's finally starting to warm up over here where I'm at in San Antonio, Texas. To the point where, like, I feel like I probably should have worn shorts today when I was outside. That's warm. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think 74 degrees. Here I am in long sleeves, actually wearing socks. Yesterday I went swimming. It was warm enough, and today I'm back in my turtle neck. (laughs) Yeah, it's all over the place. It'll probably start warming up permanently pretty soon here yeah usually in february it's not biting cold but not that it's ever really bites where i live (laughs) it's all relative yeah that's true i was told last time i was in san francisco i was told that it was going to be pretty chilly you know uh probably going to need like a light jacket or even you know more than that depending on how i how i was and uh, I think the only time I really needed my jacket was when I was on the ferry. That was it. <laughs> I'm waiting for someone to pick you up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Other than that, I was I was good. I do want to go back though. I have to tell you something funny. My daughter sure. had a dentist appointment this morning. And um, she was just asking me what this item is from the dentist bag. And I'm like, I don't know. I guess it's a, a tongue scraper and it's all plastic. I'm like, honey, you know, she's seven. I'm like, you probably don't need this. I'm like, but I think that we can maybe use this for the next step of this project. <laughs> it's just like the perfect, it's the perfect shape. It's basically another, uh, oh, that's brilliant. Know, what, do <laughs> a, a, what do you call this? 
a palette knife. It's, we're going to use the pung scraper yeah. as a secondary palette knife in this house. <laughs> I love that. Uh, hey, you know what? Use what you have. Yeah. <laughs> I love that so much. <laughs> oh, that makes me happy. <laughs> I, I'm curious to see what it's going to look like. <laughs> So Amelia and I are sort of doing like a team uh, painting over here. Yeah. So she's doing like one canvas and I'm doing the other one. And um, we have gone very, very colorful. I, I will hold up what, we're, what we've got going on here. Hold on. Hold up first oh. too. So we're going there very, we go. very colorful, super colorful, really different direction. But I thought it'd be cool, you know, bright it's colorful so, for what we're doing. I know. I love it. I love that you guys are tag teaming it and you guys are like actually having it match together. It's super yeah. cute. Thank you. Oh, yay. You guys are awesome. Does anyone else want to share their work in progress? I, mean, I know we're kind of early, but why not? Anyone? Anyone? Well, I have again. decided. Uh huh. I decided to only do one since I came half halfway through. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so. <laughs> but I, I figure I could still do the process on one. Yeah, and honestly, um, I think I mentioned earlier that I did one at a time whenever I was doing this. So, if you mm. don't mind it not completely matching, then yeah, go for it. That's okay. I don't remember why I did it. I feel like something a little different, Hannah. Oh, yeah, where are you? There you are. What are Tiny you doing, Johnny? I'm doing like, I use white canvas. I had to use a different canvas that I messed up a long time ago. So yeah. I'm going to move this to see what happens that's yeah that's a really good idea so you'll remove the tape and you'll already have the four sections yeah nice that's a good idea i like that we'll have to do like a project in the future where we use tape in that capacity somehow yeah that'll be fun here's my band so far like yeah I don't know. You can see. There you are. Yeah, there you are, Susie. I see you. Okay. Ooh. Oh, they, oh, that's pretty. Yeah. Just uh, one canvas, but yeah. yeah. Is it orange yeah. and black? No. Um, it's blue, purple, and then um what's it? Wow. I was uh, way pure off. Pink and pure pink, but yeah, it could be my lighting. My lighting's kind of oh I no, see the it's pink. Also my my computer is doing the you know nighttime thing yeah so i don't know my lighting is kind of off but oh that's okay I can... yeah yeah that's cool. pretty though oh thank you <laughs> i know man so you so you're like almost at the point <laughs> where you no, can add well, texture yeah well no hurry <laughs> <laughs> Susie, I just love all the art behind you. It's all so nice. Like the cat, mm -hmm. did you do the cat that's behind you? Peeking yeah, out? that was a paint by number thing oh, that I did. Cool. It took me, God, because it was so detailed. <laughs> it took me all last summer, I think, like a good three months. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. It came out yeah, beautiful. It took, yeah, because my eyes, like with my optic neuritis, they bound. Uh -huh. So yeah, I just had a, yeah, it took me about three months to do that. Wow. Yeah. I'm yeah, impressed with that. <laughs> oh yeah, thank you. Yeah, a lot of the artworks what we've done in class that I have hanging. So <laughs> might as well display it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it looks awesome. <laughs> thank you, Susie. Uh -huh. Thank you. Lovely. Let me know if y'all uh if anyone else wants to share, just shout it out. I'm gonna put my gold on here my gold uh 
bands right now. I love that my gold color is already kind of a, a thick paint, so it wants to already texturize, which is kind of nice. Like that's going to be pretty nice on the on the canvas whenever it's it's actually dry. Mm -hmm. And I'll definitely add some other colors. Um, on top of it and probably some more texture with the gold too. So far I'm liking this a lot. I always seem so much more um, satisfied with my pictures when I tone down the colors and I don't do quite as, as bright of a color scheme. Maybe partially because I'm always proud of myself for limiting mm -hmm. my color palette. That is exciting. What you're doing. Thank Perfect. you. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to get myself um, some thicker gel mediums that I can mix in with the with the gold and not have it uh, reduce the, the, what's it? The shimmer. Okay, so is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Is this right? Here you are. I'm looking for you, Sharon. There you are. There we go. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. That's nice. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Yep. Yeah, you got it. All right. Cool. Um, let's see. I think I only have one more spot on this painting to fill. And then after I do that, I'll probably show you guys how to add the texture on top. So I'll probably just put some gold right here. Can you do that when the paint is still wet? Um, so the texture, you actually do want to let it dry a little bit. Okay. So, yeah. So it's probably a good thing that, you know, some of you guys are finishing up a little earlier. Give yourself plenty of time to dry. And since this is acrylic paint, it, it shouldn't take too long to dry. Loving the way the teal looks underneath that gold. That's really nice. All right. I'm here. Honestly, like those colors you have look to me like they could be for like a wedding. Like what you're doing right now, the, they look to me like like a very like classy, beautiful like wedding palette that you have. Thank you. Thank you. That's a big compliment. <laughs> I appreciate that. What? What? It's actually kind of make me want to try um, maybe adding a different color to the side, but maybe more, um, what is it? More like a, a succulent color, like one of those um, brownish purples. Hmm. Like, uh, let me see if I can make what I'm talking about. Like, I imagine this kind of brown. I'm going to set this aside. That needs to dry. Yeah, part of the fun with these kinds of project projects is just, you know, coming up with colors and having fun with the paint. Like, I'm thinking that brown mixed with more of this purple 
Um, probably some white. Like I'm gonna get mostly this really, really bright pink. A little bit of that, a little bit of brown. I probably poured out a little bit too much brown. I probably grabbed a little too much brown. So now I have to balance it. Mixing colors is all about finding the balance. Almost like cooking, actually. Hmm. Finding the right balance of uh, flavors. Finding the right balance of colors. There we go. Now I need to mix more. One of my things is that I, I don't always mix enough of a color. Mm -hmm. In fact, I, I rarely mix enough. Yeah, you sound like you, you have the same problem. <laughs> it's either that or I can't make it again, especially once you put it down and then you need to make uh, it again just like that. Oh, it's very hard. Yeah, it, yeah, that takes practice. It really takes practice. Then you ask, then you accidentally add a little bit too much of one of those colors. You yeah, so rebalance you, it. Yeah, it's when you just use a whole bunch of paint and you just need it a little bit. <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. That's what happens yes. to me with the tablet. You know, I I can make the <laughs> colors and then, oh no, it's gone. <laughs> now what do I do? <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> even See, tablets I'm not, I'm are not, not safe. <laughs> what's coming out? And when you started talking, I just started throwing all these colors on. And I'm like, oh, that's so cool. I like it. Okay, I'll save it. And then I'm doing completely different colors and I'm really happy. Can you save <laughs> palettes, Karen? Um, I don't think so. I can save like oh. the last eight, eight oh. colors that I used. Okay, I yeah. Can, but I'm just very unmotivated to, well, even Are if you... I learned the program, I would forget it by the next week. Mm. <laughs> But I'm I'm still holding on to that enjoyment of the. I did save that mess of a color that wasn't intended to be. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I like that. Because I was trying to figure out how am I going to make the texture while you were talking, and I was like, all right, I'll use oh this yeah, tool. I'll use this. I'll use that. Oh yeah, that's a good point though. So do you have uh, different modes to choose your different textures? Like how does, how does, how does that work? Um, it has things like pen, watercolors, calligraphy pen, markers. Um, oh, okay. Things like that. And then depending on what it is, I can um, make the paintbrush bigger or smaller. And then I figured out how to go into a... Um, Like I get a color, it has a spectrum and it has swatches. And then I go in there and then I can't remember like, why can't I get it to work? And finally I did that so many times a few weeks ago and it was like, well, you have to push done. You have to say it's done. Um, right? That so makes sense, yeah. It's part of the exploration of like, ah, it's not doing what I want it. <laughs> So then how do you work around it, right? Yeah, but I'm, I'm here yeah. for the journey, you know, so then I sometimes yeah. placate myself like today to say, well, you don't have to like everything. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a huge step, it is. <laughs> right? Yeah. That's a very huge step. I know. And I do love what I did last week, even though it was, it just makes me laugh. It was all like freehand. Oh, the squares. Was it the squares? Yeah. 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 The way they, should, they came out. And you know, I was like, oh, that's kind of wrong. I was like, no, that's what I like about it. <laughs> about it is wrong. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, your, your squares were, were pretty impressive. 
Like they had they had a lot of character to them. Yeah. Now for me, I have to try and figure out how to kind of make this match. Hmm. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna put more of this pinkish color in here. So I didn't know. I'm not really following you at all, and I have those uh -huh. colors without the gold. Mm -hmm. And your gold is so pretty without the pink, and then the, the one you have on the other side without the gold. I'm like, that's what I have. I just don't like them. What would make it more? It needs something. Hmm. So you have the same palette. Kind I of, wonder. Yeah. Hmm, without the gold. I wonder too. I wonder the gold with the pink. I mean what about black? Black. Mm. <laughs> maybe black, maybe like you know, my thing is all different. I could show you what I have that I'm not happy with. Because and then and then there I'm like, I wasn't even following you. <laughs> okay, let me see. Yeah, I found you. Know, you. And it's like I don't care if my lines are good or not good, but it is funny how I came up oh, with wow. without watching you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really, you did. And then I'm like, but it's, oh, yeah, I'm not, like, what can I do? I'm ready to toss it, but. um, I'm loving the texture that I'm seeing. Yeah, I can play more with texture. It's really pretty. Yeah, but, that's really pretty, but you feel like it needs something more. Color's not making me happy not making me happy in yours on the left <laughs> you know I like it with the gold and it's like no don't do the pink I wonder I wonder if you could actually get away with doing um a really really bright yellow um and I'm trying to figure out where like uh -huh. Okay, because you know how the gold color it shifts, right? So it's it's pretty dark here, right, right, and it's very light here. Something closer to this very light color, maybe. Okay, because I my whole other palette was completely different, and then I'm like, well, how did this happen? I was yeah. looking at Hana. Now it looks like hers. How did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> and I have kind of a goldish color, but maybe. And that doesn't feel right. I mean, the good thing is I can always, I can erase. Somebody asked me once if I erase and I, I didn't used to. And I'm like, you know, why not? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, see, why not? Why limit yourself is my question. Why not? Okay. Exactly. Honestly, mm -hmm. yeah, really. <laughs> Honestly, I'm really. sure I, I, I mostly would I, I would have to be careful that I don't just um yeah back up too much at some point I just you know gotta walk so just it, it is what it is yeah, that's what <laughs> it's about the process you know? yeah at least I mean I mean I, I definitely go through moments when I'm questioning myself <laughs> questioning <laughs> my my process that's for sure but then I have to remember it's okay I can start again um I can take a different direction I've learned something from it um it's not the end of the world basically okay so I'm putting a little bit more white paint on my palette because I want to use um white paint first for my texture um, and the reason I'm using white paint first is because I'd like to have a little bit of cushion for when I go over it with um, uh, with that gold, because I know that this gold is just slightly transparent. Um, so pay attention to your colors and the colors that you want to actually uh, use as a texture. Um, is it a little bit transparent? Um, and you can always check it, you know, you can always check um, do a little test spot on the side, perhaps, um, if you don't really know. So that's my reasoning, but that doesn't mean that you don't have to. 
In fact, if you really like the uh, idea of having it um, be transparent and covering over some of these um, other colors, then go for it, do it. So I'm gonna take some of this and just kind of lightly scrape the side there, or scrape the side right there. Now, I personally really love this kind of um, scraper because I feel like it's very easy to, to hold and very easy to place. Scrape across. And look at that, those lines, those, uh, those edges that were more blurry, they're suddenly just gone. I can take a little more. I can kind of scrape over it. And if I were to press down into the canvas, then I can create even more of a texture. I don't know how well you guys can hear that. But that's pretty loud. And for me, I would like to actually scrape the sides because I, I do kind of want it to match a little bit. There, kind of like that. They're not going to match evenly, but it's all right. It's okay. I really want to see what this white color is going to look on top of the gold. I, I just, it's so funny when I'm doing this, I feel like I know what I'm doing. You know, I have this sense of like, yeah, I know what I'm doing. I'm doing this, which is like a new feeling for me <laughs> to not be freaking out. Oh, I can't keep up. I can't. Keep yeah. Up. No, I'm very deliberate. I know what I'm doing. I love that though. I love that you, you come into it knowing that you don't, or and well, really, you do know what you're doing. Yeah. And it really translates into, into my life. Yeah. That are, you know, I, I feel very confident about things that I do and not so questioning. Yeah. I'm just going to set this aside there. Work on one for now. Now, let's see. I mentioned wanting to put a little cushion, like that white paint is the cushion for the gold. How's that uh how's that tongue scraper working out, Katie? Um, it's actually amazing. It's uh here, this is my you can see the white. I added the white with the tongue scraper. It it worked perfectly. It um yep. So I think it's really uh and it's the right, it's more the shape that you're dealing with. So I love it. My <laughs> other ones are more the like long, different. My other ones are long. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't have I don't have the right shape either. Nice. <laughs> it's it, it, it looks like it's easy to hold too. It is. <laughs> it's, it's so funny. Like literally while we were in the middle of doing the painting, Amelia came up and asked what this was. I'm like, oh man, this is gonna be perfect for what we're gonna do in a few minutes. Great. I, I think you're gonna have to go back to that dentist's office and show yes. him what y'all did. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Yes. Or just awesome. say your tongue is your tongue is very furry and you need a, <laughs> yes, a lot very of furry. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, Look how much you prefer. Yeah. Tell him you yeah. need about 10 more. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's gotta be like a 25 cent item. I mean, it's you know, it's just a very <laughs> but it's a pretty solid, I mean, it's a pretty solid piece of plastic, actually. It's really funny. Yeah. 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 It's, it's perfect.
Oh, Ooh. that's a sunset. That's awesome. I live near the water and I, I just, you know, oh. I start putting colors down. It's like, I, this is going to turn into a sunset. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those are definitely like oceanside mm -hmm. sunset colors. <laughs> it's a lavender. Okay, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. And then I like that a, a, lot. a darker lavender and purple and tan. Beautiful. I like that a lot. Yeah, seriously, the tan, the yeah. tan, I think, adds um, a, a nice touch to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. cool. All right, I'm done. Nice. Thanks, nice. I want to see this when you're finished. Yeah, for sure. I'll email you. Awesome. See ya. Bye. Bye. Cool, guys. I love it. Okay, so mine is like I have paint on here, but it's wet. So I won't be able to do any of the work. But so I have not actually seen you do any of the palette knifing because I'm just too busy trying to get color oh, down but yeah. I don't know if you have I don't want to make you wreck your your wall painting if well, you're done luckily for me I have a whole second one right here Ta -da! oh that's right okay yeah there you go right. <laughs> yeah so and this is the only ahead. one I have okay so yeah good thing you told me I have one I know you guys saw it in the beginning of this lesson. <laughs> Here it is. Okay. Okay. I have one exactly like that. So um, I added white as my first um, bit of texture, but the only reason I did that was because I wanted my white paint to, um, to sort of act as a cushion because I know that my gold is just a little bit transparent. Um, so I wanted a little bit of that cushion underneath it. So that's my reasoning, but that doesn't mean that you have to do it that way, especially if you already have a, a paint that's already pretty opaque as it is. Hmm. Okay. So um, this one, I have a lot of paint at the edge there and I'm gonna go ahead and I like to brace it when I'm using this kind, I like to brace it with my finger. It's just kind of a habit. I don't do it on purpose, I just do it. Take your spot and scrape it along. If I were to press down, um, I'm basically pushing back. I'm, well, I'm pushing the paint into the canvas, thereby creating okay. a slightly different texture. So like you put it on the back and mm -hmm. do you always start on the edge or do you sometimes start in the middle or? No. Um, I, okay, so the reason I started here is because I wasn't quite liking that line. So basically, whatever you want to cover up, that's what you can Oh, start okay. Yeah. Well, and actually, I meant like the middle. I meant, do you, like, could you start in the middle oh. of the painting? Oh, good question. So here's what happens if I start in the middle. I could get a line, which may not be a bad thing. If you like that break or that um. line, then totally do that. But if not, then start at the edge. Okay. Like right out here. And even when you do the edge, I would still take it over the edge a little and just kind of match that texture that you have on the front. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. At least as, as best as you can, you know? So let's see. I kind of like what I started here where I had this line. Mm -hmm. I like that too, actually. Yeah, I've, I've actually never done that before. It kind of draws your eye there, how it separates. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good idea, Brandy. Hmm. Oh, here's mine. I gotta go. Yeah. But my first time using a palette knife and I got excited. So I probably screwed Ooh. everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I to get love it, it. <laughs> I got it well, yeah <laughs> well I love that you grabbed a lot of paint whenever you did this and it really yeah. works for you <laughs> I'm like oh that's just cool and I was just having fun with it so yeah, yeah. So, of course it wasn't going in the lines but yeah that's awesome uh-huh yeah, it's yeah. awesome it's really awesome um let's see there you are Anna Marie I kind of didn't like 
the way I'm on. So I kind of went off the. Oh. Yeah. What? It's. Yeah. I like how you have two different, oh. like up and down and. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Per You're perpendicular. To do that. But I didn't like the way it was looking. I still don't know if I like it, but. Really? Maybe it'll grow on you because what I oh, like yeah. seeing <laughs> is the types of textures that you have. And I think that's what what brings it together. It's it's the similarity in the shapes of the textures that makes it all that. I feel like that's what brings it together for me. Um, because I, I can understand you um, not not enjoying it as much because they're, you know, they're going against each other. But for me, it fits together because of the textures. Maybe the colors. I maybe I mm. didn't do a good job with the colors. Really? Just turn it side the other the other way, and then it will look totally different. <laughs> See, look totally different. Paintings. Yeah, it does look different. I like that a lot, actually. It yeah, like looks like a flag, like the flag to me. Really? Huh. I guess with the stripes, you know, this way. I mean, I yeah. Uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe it's the stripes uh, that way. I feel like vertically, the way you have it, um, there's something about it. It gives it a oh, different look Oh, wait, but it's backwards. It's supposed to be like this. That looks there a lot better. Uh -huh. Yes. There you go. It looks like Her trees to me. And I don't know. Uh -huh. I like, on. I think my favorite color is that uh, dark, what, what, I, what I think is like a dark blue at, on the edge there. On this side? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. On that side. That's like my favorite green. color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, I think it was a teal and I might have, I put a little um, blue in it to darken it oh yeah so is it more of like a peacock blue yeah yeah probably. yeah and I love the way the uh the orange looks on top of that like like it's it's a little bit transparent so you can see the two colors yeah. oh I yeah I love that part okay. mm -hmm. I love that part thank you well yeah. this was a lot yeah. of fun good good Thanks for it. sharing. Seriously, oh, like you. are you well, gonna? Thanks. Are you gonna? Are you gonna hang them together? I think I am, but I'm not. Yeah. I'm not even sure I'm finished. I think I'm gonna wait till the morning and look yeah. at them again, and then make up my mind. But yeah, I think. I think. I think I should. <laughs> I, I, I like that they're should. not the same sizes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, th I thought that you know that might make mm -hmm. it interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah and I it was my went... first time using the palette knife so I didn't I just went for it <laughs> yeah I'm really I'm really happy you did that yeah so I because I only did one I thought I would just do very different colors but um mm. it was very thin um oh. I, I don't know whatever this kind of white was I poured it out it didn't seem very clumpy or not clumpy, but you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. I couldn't. It's very fluid. Know, and, yeah. Yeah. And now I can't, now it's just, should I just paint over it with colors again and start over? <laughs> um, or... Personally, I love that. <laughs> I know it's not what you're going for. I really love it though. Um, hmm. But I, but I do think that if you wanted to, you could easily go over it again with those colors. Um, Start and fresh. Okay. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Start fresh. Um, let me see if I can replicate that because I know exactly what you're talking about because that particular oh. white is very fluid. Oh, okay. So, it's a known thing. Yeah. Yeah. It just is that way. It does um, say quick drying. So, Maybe that's why it's like super thin. It'll yeah, dry in a I, second. I think it just it just comes with the brand. I think. Um, so let me. Oh, but don't wreck show. your like piece for your house. <laughs> oh, you're fine. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're fine. I will always find a way to love it. <laughs> okay. I will. I promise you that. So I'm gonna take this. I do.